the odd even strategy. Once again, you may only use whole numbers and you may only put them in front of the chemical. So let's tally up over here how many hydrogens? Two. two. Oxygen? Two. Hydrogen? Two. One. One. Now, you may recall that before we had a three and a two, and that was odd and even, right? Yeah. But the strategy there was uh, easier if we looked for a lowest common denominator. Sometimes the element that you have an odd or even has been split up into two different places and the reactants are the products. And so the odd even strategy won't work. And you'll see this when you do one of your homework assignments. But the strategy here is that there's no way I can ever get my even number to become odd, is there? So you can add one or subtract one. You're not allowed to add and subtract. You're only allowed to put. You're only allowed to put a coefficient. So there's no way you can get the even number to be odd, but there is a way to get the odd one to be even. So let's start with that. The simplest way to get this one even would be to do what? Two. Simplest way to do it, right? So that makes two oxygens. But how many uh, hydrogens? Four. Four. So if I put a two in front of this hydrogen, that makes four. And this worked out to be very easy because I approached it in a, in a way that made it easy. Okay? Odd and even. Type of reaction? I got to vote for synthesis. We have two elements coming together to make one compound. And that works very nicely as a synthesis reaction.